MediaTek is a community technology center located in our public library. We offer over a dozen different platforms. A few months ago, we added our first major VR system. Here's a few things that we've learned. Well, hey there, Dan. How are you doing today? All right. <laughs> All right. Dan, the reason I'm here is um, I have some questions about our VR system. What are some things that you've discovered about it so far? Obviously, as you can see, some of the kids are they're giving it a shot, so it gives them an opportunity to experience virtual reality. So I think it can be very popular for the kids when they get started. I know that obviously we have the um, PlayStation, sorry, technically the PlayStation 4 Playroom VR as it's gone, so it's the PlayStation's Playroom just with VR. We have it plugged into a, a real public screen, and that's important, right? So all the kids and people can watch? Yep. Um, what about germs, Dan? Um, we were worried about that initially. Have you well, learned actually anything? Actually, I have the, these wipes that are able to wipe off the plastic part around the VR. Because occasionally I have to fix it up, so I'm always on hand with it. And the other thing is that the lenses, I'm sure people will get nervous that what if somebody has pink eye. Right. Luckily we have those wipes as well, and we're able to clean them off. Do you so, clean it every day? Yes. Is that kind of a hassle for you to maintain the VR system? Well, as long as somebody is using the VR system, then there's a chance that they should be okay with it. And if they stop using it or somebody else gets a hold of it, I try my best to keep on top of that. We need chairs with seatbelts now. We, we need to put a seatbelt on there because the kids, some of the younger generation, they'll, they don't realize that this is a system where you're supposed to sit down. I have the rolling chair set up so that they could turn around and look around. I know that on the v place room VR, there's a specific room that allows you to look full 360, and you can see this whole room just filled with all these little toys or knickknacks and stuff. But um, some of the kids forget that they have to be seated. So this is, it, they want to get out of the chair, like they want to touch something, so. What, what about, um, has anyone been hurt or any worries about people getting hurt with it? I haven't had, I've been more worried about sometimes the limitations of the system itself rather than the people. The people under supervision, they are able to be safe. What, they are fine. What but about people with glasses? Actually, the VR, I've used them with my glasses on. This system is built so that you can adjust it while keeping your glasses on. So, in a way, I don't know if we invested in, say, gamer glasses or just plain old glasses that um, are just plain glass, then people could probably put them on. That could be another buffer to keep their eyes safe. Is there want. any age range? Like, how young do children... Uh, have, can younger children use it? Depends on the game itself. Like this one, I think. I think with uh, kids, like uh, let's say a limit of age um, six and up, could probably use this system because if their parent is with them or somebody's supervising, then they should be fine with the parent trying to help them out. There's another game that you um, have with a safari. Mm -hmm. Have you used that recently, or does that get much time? With Viri, the Viri, that offers a unique perspective that you have to try and see if you could get the kids invested. So if I turn it on and allow them to maybe play around with it, or if they want to sit and see a lion literally coming up to their face, I'm sure that they'd be pretty fascinated. Just shake your controller now. Of course, elephants don't have hands, but they do have something which is like people being left-handed or right-handed. Sometimes the wire, if the kids get really into the system they may spin around the wire will get caught so that's a moment where the worst that could happen is the system gets unplugged so the wire can get tangled up if they start spinning if they really start spinning and the worst case is that the wire can be pulled from either the headset or the system itself if it's pulled from the system no big deal because they're plugs 
If it's from the headset, that's a little bit tougher to fix. I'm sure there's a better word for it, but... And that's what just happened there? The VR settings, it lost track of the controller a bit. It kind of looked like the controller was turned around, so if you simply go to VR settings and you virtually put the controller into a spot, then it should be able to reset where the controller is. As you can see also, this system, it, combi it combines both not just the VR, but also the PlayStation camera as well.